everybody. My name is Duan Nang. I was born in Thanh Province, but now I'm working in the Academy of Military Science and Technology. My daily goal is to study and to analyze the chemical properties and, and structure of different materials. Today it is my pleasure to be here to tell you about opportunities and challenges of the fourth industrial revolution for young people all over the world as well as in Vietnam. And what does Vietnamese youth need to do to prepare for the fourth revolution? Okay, first of all, to understand what the fourth revolution, we need to look back at the other industrial revolution in the past. The first industrial revolution was the steam engine. The second one gave, came from the discovery of electricity. And the third one uh, was the computer and the internet. And now the fourth industrial revolution is growing out of the third, but it will bring changes at a speed, scale, and force, unlike anything we have experienced before. We will live in such an era defined by cyber interconnectivity, artificial intelligence, in Internet of Things, nanotechnology, brain research, 3D printing, etc. Until now, the fall revolution had a tremendous impact on the economy, society, and in environment all over the world. It's is hope to bring great opportunities not only for nations but also for all the people, especially for young people if they know how to seize opportunity and to have capability. In the fourth revolution, the factors which are advantages of Vietnam such as abundance in labor source will become challenges because robots are replacing people on many fields like manufacturing, service, health, education, and so on. We also must face with many challenges, such as greater income inequality, increasing rates of unemployment, the environmental problems, and the quality of human resources. So, what does the Vietnam do? need to do to prepare for the fourth revolution, in my opinion. Firstly, to take the opportunities of the fourth revolution, we must have knowledge. To have knowledge, there is no other way except learning. Because learning is the key to approach and find out, find out achievements of industry for Europe. Secondly, young people must take initiative in having the research and application in fields like robotics, advanced materials, renewable energy, and artificial intelligence. Thirdly, we should cultivate specific skills uh, in order to survive and thrive in a changing world. For instance, problem solving skills, critical thinking, global mindset, creativity and collaboration. Every person in this world does have a, a dream and me too. I want to dedicate my life to the cause of nation of construction and defense. Now I'm a young army officer, a material engineer, an important field in the fourth revolution. So I will always try my best to research and create advanced materials. There are still a lot of difficulties ahead, but trust me, nothing is impossible if you believe in yourself. And we young people, we have health, enthusiasm of the young, confidence and knowledge. So you and me, we will take the opportunities and overcome the challenges of the false revolution together build our country, Vietnam, more beautiful, more powerful. Finally, I want to thank you all very much for your listening. It is my pleasure to meet all of you.